family. Hello, friends. I'm getting ice because I'm making coffee. Let me tell you, I was really craving coffee at like 4 a.m., but I was like, no, I'm not gonna wake up and make coffee. So I'm very excited for this moment. This is what we're doing today. Riley, you want ice cream? straw. If you guys do not have these glass straws from Amazon, you're missing out on light. life. On light. <laughs> I've had them for a year, two years now. Freaking love them. Obsessed. If you missed my previous vlog, yes, yes. We have retired the coffee machine. The Nespresso machine is now living with our really good friend Gabby. She is loving it. If you guys are still interested in the Nespresso, 100%, 10 out of 10, still get it. I love it so much. It just wasn't for my lifestyle. I realized that I just like quick coffee. That was the only reason that I kind of gave it away. But new obsession, you guys. This thing right here, the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato. Mm. And then you know what I kind of do? Add a little splash. Oh, you know, a little. I can, I can use this one. This one is brand new. I don't want to open it yet. Add a little splash. Add a little splash. Okay, this is what I do. So you, this is brand new. Carlos and I go through this very, very, very fast. And Carlos makes his own coffee now because it's so easy and simple. That was so difficult. This thing is so good. I need a lot of coffee today. We have a lot going on today, you guys. I'll give you the breakdown in a little bit. And it's so light, Ugh, it doesn't feel heavy at all. We do a splash of the medium. Why, you may ask? Because it freaking tastes good, okay? I don't know the science behind it. I just like mixing a bunch of shit together. And then, this goes a very long way, okay? I learned that, it goes a very long way. But I'm just gonna use the rest of it, because that's perfect. And you don't have to do this. You can just drink this alone because sometimes I do that. I don't drink this alone, you guys. I can't do black coffee. Dynamite. Amazing. So freaking good. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Five stars. Awesome. I should read more. I don't know a lot of adjectives. I'll make Carlos a coffee when he gets home. On the agenda today. I really like my bun. Mm. It's so light and I can suck it down in two seconds because it's just so light. It feels like I'm drinking water. Quick breakdown because I got to go finish up my video that I'm editing and I have to uh, I have to submit it to the brand that was sponsoring the video. But anywho, before we get some work done, let me give you guys a breakdown of what's going on today, okay? Carlos and I barely got sleep. Carlos literally went to bed. He edited until like 11 and then he slept. And then he woke up at 6 to finish the video. And then I woke up at 10 to finish my video. And I'm still finishing my video. So we got as much sleep as we possibly can get. So this will be my best friend today. I will probably have a second one later on today. Welcome to our... Ooh, this chair, man. This like moves in and out and it bothers me sometimes. I'm sitting on Carlos's chair. Welcome to our temporary office area. This is where we've been literally like cuddled up editing. This is going to be the new editing room slash online shop inventory headquarters for a while. I manifest, I believe, I'm putting it out into the universe that within a year of starting our business, we can hopefully get a small warehouse and that would be very, very cool to be able to go to a warehouse and have everything there. So I manifest that, okay? Someone, someone keep this footage right here. Someone keep this footage. I manifest. I am going to be successful. I am going to have a warehouse, you guys. You need to manifest good things in your life. It is a shit show right now because we have to switch the rooms. This used to be the old studio where I filmed my mukbangs and I moved it to the room next door. So I still have a lot to do. I don't know if you guys are interested in me like filming this. I don't know if I want to expose how crazy my life is right now, but things are crazy. The two Ikea desks that we used to have in our old office is actually in here and they're connected and it looks so good. So I'll show you guys once it's clean. But man, I'm really excited to start this online shop. Very nervous. I've probably cried like six times already because I have no idea what I'm doing and you guys I'm just really nervous for it ah, but I'm very excited as well I'm just like that type of person where like 
I love trying new things and when I set my mind on something I do it like no regrets if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out at least I tried and I know I hate living life with what ifs but thank you to you guys a lot of you guys are small business owners and you've been reaching out and helping me like navigate Shopify and I've been doing a lot of research and like trying to see like what I can do to start this online shop we just got all the legal stuff taken care of we're officially an LLC so that's been really cool now we're just looking at inventory I want to sell like really pretty like dresses and hopefully eventually go into like home decor I think that's where my passion is and then a lot of casual wear so a lot of crew necks with like designs on it, it'll be really exciting I think you guys will really like it and also it's something that Carlos and I can do on top of YouTube which we we love YouTube hundred percent we're definitely gonna continue doing YouTube for as long as we can but eventually in the future when we have kids we also want to be able to build the business now and eventually by the time we have kids take some time off and kind of have have like people that we trust run that business also being very 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 active with the business as well I feel like I will never be a business owner where I just sit back and have everyone do everything but what I'm trying to say is I want some time with the kids as well so I think it'll be a really nice balance once I have everything under control where like my YouTube is on schedule and then I have the online shop and a team that can really help me with that and then also have time for my family as well so I'm that person are you guys the same where you just think so ahead? I don't know why. I do that all the time. And I create my own worries. I create my own anxiety. And I know that. And one thing that's helped me is whenever I'm overthinking or I'm feeling anxious, I start asking myself, who told you that? Because half the, actually not even half the time, 99% of the time, I'm telling myself that. I'm making shit up in my head to cause my own anxiety and to cause my own worries. So I've been trying to like deal with that, but I'm also such a planner. I'm very type A. I like to plan things and I like to have set goals. But over the years as I've grown up, I've realized that it's okay when your route doesn't go like this and it makes a little detour. <laughs> So, you know, just life things. But anyways, shout out to all the small business owners. It is hard as fuck, okay? But you know what? I keep telling myself, I keep telling myself, hey Kim, in 2014, when you were 21, you started a YouTube channel and look at everything that you've accomplished and how far it's brought you. I mean, you have a fucking house. Like I literally talk to myself in the mirror. I'm like, girl, you have a fucking house. Like, you started this in 2014 not knowing anything. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to work YouTube for a while. I didn't even know that I was able to get paid on YouTube. I didn't know anything about social media and I taught myself everything. If I can do that, I can do this. It's gonna be a learning experience, but. <laughs> I'm excited to bring you guys along on the journey and I'm excited to see or I'm excited for you guys to see me fail make mistakes learn from them and grow as a business owner as a person but Carlos and I are really really excited for the new adventure so I hope to look back on this footage in like two or three years and just see how far we've come but I'm going to edit this video because this is due and I need to stop talking and blabbing away mm. This is too much talking for a beginning of the video. I'm surprised if you guys are still around. You probably already exited out. My back itches. You want me to scratch your back? Oh. Um, do you want some coffee? Randy, what's going on? Why are you so excited, huh? He said, can you clean this room? Because he can't get around. <laughs> do you want some coffee? You don't even like being in here, man. Would you like some coffee? You don't even like being in here, man. Would you like some coffee? You know? <laughs> what? Sure. I mean really good. I know, you asked me like that. <laughs> Hello. I like your body. Thank you. Mm. Ooh, that's good. So good. You feel better? I, yeah, kind of. Oh my god, me and you were like, this morning. No, last night I was not feeling it. <gasps> you guys, I looked at Carlos last night and I was like, like, you look very bad. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I don't know. Sometimes I get these things where it just... Yeah, thank know, god I'm, he's I'm, fine. I'm, I kept checking his temperature, I was like, uh, and it kept saying 98 and I was like, man, you look really bad, maybe you just need sleep. I went to go buy lottery tickets. Wow! Without me? Well, you, you know. That's so slutty. Whatever, man. Whatever. You guys should go play the lottery, man. It's like it's getting yeah, up there. And if it's you, getting up there. If you win, invest in us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's getting Wait, up I there. should go play. It's getting up there, you guys. Actually, let me check my numbers because sometimes when you look, I, I look at my numbers and I get a good feeling about them and sometimes I'm like, ah. Could've gotten a better one. I was looking up my lucky numbers. Yeah. And eight is one of my lucky numbers. Eight? Yeah. That's so weird because do you 
remember for the longest time I kept seeing eight or like numbers that would go into eight or numbers that were like divisible by eight? Right. Why are you so out of control? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking forgot, huh? No, I didn't. You're just like you ready? all over the place, man. Ready? Yes. Oh, you, you forgot. forgot! You fucked up. No. Okay, <sighs> I hate how you don't move. <laughs> Riley. Riley's laying down. Hey, what's up guys? Riley's laying down. We're gonna take Riley to park for a little bit because as you guys know, Brian and Jocelyn are coming and they're putting our dinner table down and then they're gonna put our, or my man cave door. So, Riley George is with us today by himself. Hi baby. Hi. Oh, hey, Bob Bush. So, he requested that um, we take him to the park today. You know, he asked me yesterday. He did? Yeah, he was like, hey, dad. He's like, he, say he, he was like, father. And I was like, yes, my child. And he was like, can we go to park tomorrow? So I was like, okay. So he wanted to ask you, but he says that sometimes you're fake. <laughs> so, so we have to bring it up to you lightly. <laughs> Hello? Are you so excited? He's like, yeah, I'm um, very excited. Wait, why are we going outside? You want to pee real quick? Oh yeah, come on. Come on. But pee so you don't pee in the car, please. He's like, are you leaving me? <laughs> no, no, I'm coming. Come on. You guys, it's starting to get colder outside, which is really nice. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna pee. I'm ready to go to the park again. I like this. Let's have a park day. Hello, friend. We are about to go to the park. Carlos is, he went inside to get Riley the water bowl. Nice day outside, not too hot for the first time in a very long time, not too hot. And it can get up to like 110 here. It's pretty wild. So lately at night, it's been really cold. At night, it like starts feeling like 40s, 50s. Perfect. I think summer is the worst, but fall and winter, we can deal. <laughs> so cute. I freaking love Riley. This is Riley George. A lot of people always wonder what his breed is. He's 100% 100% old English sheepdog. They always think he's a doodle. <laughs> we are here. We actually have... How many parks do we have around us, babe? We have a bunch. We have a lot. And this the parks here are so nice. And it better be nice because we have to pay HOA. <laughs> They're really nice. This one has like a bathroom too. I think they all do. Oh, no, I was just saying, oh. some parks don't have bathrooms. Yeah. We like this one the most because the... Close, well, it's closest to us. The other ones are, like, near uh, the main street. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that one, too much. I mean, this street is pretty busy, but it's, like, you have to stop, so everyone kind of slows down. And you guys, clean. Very clean. I literally die over this every time I see it, because I would have died for this when I was a kid. Oh, my gosh. I love, and yeah, the... I love how this feels. Yeah, the ground. I love the little bouncing ground. The bounce is really nice. Yeah. All we need is just pop out some kids. <laughs> Carlos was like, <laughs> maybe not this year. <laughs> They're over there. Carlos was like, damn it, I wore my trunk gloves. He was like, I should have worn my sneakers. at them. We always keep him on a leash here because the street is right there and I'm not trying to have any accidents and there's also little kids as well right behind us so sometimes Riley gets too hyper but it's actually really good when you're training your dog that has social anxiety to take them to places and keep them on a leash but expose them to situations that they're kind of a little bit anxious about it actually teaches them to understand the situation better that's what our trainer recommended us to do with casper and riley because casper doesn't like super loud noises so she recommended for us to like go to like a bus stop and just sit there with him and just be present with him and it actually has proven to got it's gotten better so that works if that is something that you guys are working on with your pets um, yeah, we're done for the day, according to Riley. <laughs> he said he's tired. Riley, you good? You're having a little water break back there. Mm. 
I'm gonna use my rice cooker, rice cooker, rice cooker. Why are short? It is my first time using my new rice cooker that makes 10 cups of white rice. Riley. I'm so excited. Let me rinse this out. Riley said, can you move over? One. This is my favorite rice, you guys. I don't know. You can get it at most Vietnamese stores and I think also, hi baby, also Korean stores. But it's by the Three Ladies brand, which is the same brand that makes my favorite rice paper for spring rolls. And the bag looks like this. Make sure you get the one that says, oh, you're so bright. Make sure you guys get the one that says Jasmine Rice because, and then they have like the three ladies here because the three ladies also make this like sweet rice one and you don't want to get the wrong bag. So make sure you get Jasmine Rice. When you're in a Vietnamese household, you have tons of these. My mom has like literally backups in the garage because we just eat rice every day. I think that was, so this is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm still looking for a rice container because this bag is pretty big. I think it's 50 pounds. Maybe? I'm gonna rinse my rice. You always wanna make sure that you guys clean your rice. And the way that you know when your rice is clean is when the water doesn't look foggy. If it continues to look foggy, here, let me show you. If it continues to look foggy like this, it's not clean yet. So the water needs to be crystal clear, like drinking water. And a lot of people actually get rice and they soak it in water and they take that, what they call rice water, and they put it on their hair. And it's really good for your hair. I've never tried it before, but I've seen results online and it looks good. My mom also uses rice water to wash her face and I don't know if that's the secret to her looking young and having really good skin. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. And I always face the seamer out because you don't want the seam going up under your cabinets. I love this rice cooker, it's so easy. You just press it down to cook. And when it's done, it'll move up to keep warm and you wanna let it stay warm for like five minutes and then we wanna, you know, stir. I don't know, this. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna make my shrimp. Today we're making my famous, and when I say famous, only about six people know the recipe right now. <laughs> I'm gonna make my butter Cajun shrimp. Lemon, I forgot lemon at the store. Oh my God, let's hope I have lemon in the other fridge. Thank goodness we have lemon. Three pounds of shrimp. Let me wash it. Alrighty, you guys, let's open it. Let's open our seasoning drawer. Oh my goodness. Hello, satisfaction. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, we're gonna do garlic powder, onion powder, white pepper, paprika, um, slap your mama, crush, Cajun, adobo, adobo. I'm gonna go in. Let me open all of these so it's easier. First and foremost, adobo. And then we have Cajun paprika. What is this? Onion powder. Garlic. Lots of garlic. Some red peppers. Uh, slap your mama. Very good seasoning. I get mine on Amazon. And white pepper. And I'm making three pounds, you guys. Three pounds. Half a lemon, which side? Let's use this one. I'm gonna mix that all up. Make sure every shrimp is coated. This is optional. Actually, only because I have the option to use it. This is my mlia. You can add a little bit of, you know, a twist to your recipe. I just love just a little bit of my favorite seasoning mlia. You can only get this in Vietnam, you guys. I'm so sorry. This specific one tastes so good, but 
it tastes the same without this. I just like a little bit of kick, my flavor, you know? But if you don't have it, it just, it tastes the same. Mine just adds a little bit of that shrimpy, spicy kick. Cool, we're done there. Let's put all this away. My caraway pot, discount code coming soon. Love caraway. Put this on high. Since we're making three pounds of shrimp, we're using two sticks of butter. And I would say that two sticks of butter has to be Kerrygold. You have to use Kerrygold butter, this one right here. You have to. This is so important. You have to use Kerrygold pure Irish butter. The normal one, the regular one. It does not need to be like salted or unsalty. Just like this one, the regular one, you can get it at Costco. Two sticks of butter will make you, will be good with maximum, I would say maximum four and a half pounds of shrimp. I'm doing three pounds of shrimp today, but maximum four and a half pounds of shrimp. If you, actually a little bit of five, but I think five would be your max. If you go over five pounds of shrimp, I feel like you won't have enough butter in the flavoring. If you do less, than three pounds of shrimp, which is what I'm doing today. If you do less than three pounds of shrimp, I would cut back on the butter. You don't need that much butter unless, you know, you're into the whole butter thing. I love butter. So three pounds of shrimp, we're using two sticks of butter. Carry gold, always carry gold, you guys. So we're just gonna pop these babies in. You've never had butter until you've had carry gold butter. Let that melt. So when the butter is almost done, I'm gonna get my Kinders. You can get this at Costco or Amazon. Buttery Steakhouse. I'm gonna sprinkle that in a little bit. If you want to mince some garlic and add it in right now, that would be really good as well. Just let the shrimp sit. And then you wanna add is ready. <gasps> wow. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The rice is good. I'll unplug now. Oh my god, it's so hot. Mm. Make yourself at home. Oh, the baby. The baby. Hey, well, it's I know. Not this year. Hey, I'm making you kick and crab. With, uh, so the reason why I went to King Crab, I was so mad, and they were like, we're out of sausages. Oh. No! I was like... Well, good thing I have some. I was like, that's the reason why I came. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I had to get her clothes. I forgot. Oh yeah. I got her like two or three outfits, and I forgot last time. You guys. The blinds for scissors? Oh my goodness, you guys. I found these at Target, and I had to get it for Juliet. It's so cute. We have this outfit. Target, you guys. We have this outfit. And then we have this when she's a little bit older. I die. Here, babe. Where is she? Juliet. Oh, I was like, bring, um, bring, bring Juliet. She's so, oh my gosh. Look at these outfits. We love. This is 12 months because you said she's bigger than what she is now. Yeah. So cute. And we this one definitely when she's older. I know Carlos saw this on his nice and he was like, uh, something you want to tell me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, are we having You know, pain? she tried to surprise me. Oh, I did. I tried to prank Brian that I was pregnant. Oh, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one. Oh, this is, what is this? 12? This is six months. Oh, Maybe now? When we go to Texas. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. Yeah. Oh, so freaking cute. Baby fever. Yes. And you, I love the material. Um, um, how to brand. <laughs> this is the 
I really want those, but man, I'm there. So mad. Is it heavy? Yeah. Like the article table? That thing was heavy. Yeah, I think it was heavy. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! That's nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, right? It's perfect. Perfect size. Yeah. Come on, it looks so good here. Now with the legs, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put it in. Oh my goodness, I love. And then the chairs that we're getting fit perfectly under. That's not fun. I think that's good. Okay, you guys, we are putting up the mirror. Hello. Okay, so this is the mirror that I was talking about. An owl? <gasps> what does that symbolize? I think it's bad. Okay, never mind. Or is it good? I don't know. Look it up. This is the mirror right here. It's 36 inches across and 60 inches up and down. $50, you guys. $50 from Home Depot. So we're going to put four on this wall because this is where the gym is going to be. So four is going to go across. You guys, the most affordable prices I've ever seen. So shout out to one of my subscribers for leaving a comment and recommending this. They're right here. These are the boxes they come in. Right here, you guys. Glacier Bay at Home Depot. Home Depot has these mirrors. 36 inches by 60 inches for 50 bucks each. I'm so excited. I'm making Jocelyn dinner. Just warming it up for Jocelyn. What? Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you want more. I'm not sure. Is it cold outside? No. It's good. We thought it was like our dress for winter. But you know, and then we were like, oh, this house is pretty. Uh, I turned it down for the baby. And it feels so good outside, probably for him right, for him right now, huh? Yeah, it's not that hot, so, yeah. and then I just gave him water, so he's fine. He's fine for a little bit. Look, they just come for food. <laughs> <laughs> but we brought ice cream. Wow. Oh. Let's cool. hope you got his mine. Look at that. I saw mine. Uh, the actual frame, mm -hmm. then get it between my bus, and then go back to it. Okay. It's super light, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's pick up and move. Oh. I'm gonna move my corner this way. Okay. okay. It looks huge. Now we're gonna drop it this way. Okay. And then pick up. Yay, Yay. <laughs> right. to you. <laughs> that 
that's why. Okay, yeah, you can let it go. It might feel like it is going on. Take a picture of it. I think I can screenshot it real quick. You love it. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ryan, you outdid yourself with this one. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, Look who face. grew. <laughs> Hi. What are you eating these days? Hello? Okay, Mateo sit. Mateo sit. Mateo, Mateo, Mateo sit. show the internet what a great boy you are. Shake, shit, sit, shake. <gasps> good boy, good boy. Like, where's my tweet? Oh Sorry. my goodness. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Juno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shake, Riley. shake, shake. No. no, shake. Shake, sit. Oh my god, he's so big. Huge. Sit. 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 It's like, do you have treats? Shake. Oh boy, shake. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're just like Riley. <laughs> He like does it even before. He's like, just give it to me. Good morning, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Riley just got a Kotskin snack. These are like the best snacks ever if you guys are looking for snacks for your doggos. They smell. Carlos doesn't like fishy smells, that's why. It's good for their skin. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys in daylight how beautiful our new dining area is. Let me go this way. I cannot believe that Brian literally did all of this from scratch, made everything. It's amazing. So this is our new dining table. You guys, it was so hard for me to find a perfect 70 inch round oak with black bottoms dining table online. They were running me serious money if I was able to find them, but they were never exact this one's beautiful it is just so so good so actually fun fact the top of this table the oak is the same oak that he used to build our console table if you guys are curious Brian also built this for us beautiful obsessed with that and then the legs of this table matches the brand new door do you want to open the door for our friends babe yeah. I love the door. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So one of my biggest fears was that I thought it was gonna close off our, our like kitchen dining area, but it actually doesn't. It is so beautiful. And the doors open in, so now there's a separation. Yeah, next time Brian comes, he's gonna, there's a gap in the middle. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna, I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty much what you put at the bottom of doors. To keep like air out, right? Yeah, so that's gonna go in the middle. So this gap will be here. And I just wanted to let you guys know, Brian also custom made these handles to put on to the door. He made the whole thing, you guys. Like, everything was from scratch. They're welded on. He is just amazing. He's so, so good. Um, we'll post all of Jocelyn and Brian's information down below um, if you guys are interested in making anything. Um, if you are out of state, just contact them as well because you just never know with their schedule. They'll make it happen for you. But yeah, all we're doing now is we're waiting for our new dining chairs, which are from Article. We got black Article chairs. They're coming this Thursday. And then I'm thinking about doing like a glass vase in the middle. But you guys, I'm having the hardest time finding a large glass vase that's kind of like I like my vases to be like round and fat I don't like them to be like tall and skinny so if you guys know any please send links over and then we're gonna have to change out these pictures in the frames they've been like this for like a month now so we need to put some pictures in the frames and that kind of pulls together the whole dining area let me go back here so I can show you guys everything See, this area is really important to us because this is where we have friends and family and we're always here. Like in the vlogs, I'm always in the kitchen. Oh, but the it's so bright back there. Maybe I'll show you guys in the next vlog. But everything is has a flow now. Like the kitchen island is matte black and then we have the new pendant lights and then we go to the beautiful, the beautiful, the beautiful new door. This door is ginormous, you guys. And then this area. I can't wait for the black chairs. I feel like it's really gonna pull everything together. And this is what our house is, co it's coming along. I love the new aesthetic of the house. Yeah. We just need to like clean and tidy up a little bit, but oh my gosh, you guys, 70 inches. I cannot wait to have our friends and family over. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh my goodness. <gasps> so pretty. Two, we're making fried rice. 
So I had extra rice left over from last night when I made the butter shrimp for Jocelyn, Brian, uh, Ruben, and Veronica. And I had extra white rice. And this is the perfect time to make fried rice because you want to make fried rice with cold rice or like room, not cold actually, like room temperature rice. You don't want to make it with freshly cooked hot rice because then you get mushy rice. So you want perfect, perfect texture. So made this yesterday, left it in the fridge, and now I'm gonna leave it out a little bit. And I'm gonna start with eggs. So we don't have any protein. We don't have any chicken or any steak or any shrimp. So we're just making egg fried rice. So I'm using this amount of eggs for that amount of rice. We want like the perfect ratio. We just don't want people to feel like they're just eating rice. So I'm gonna crack all the eggs in here. You can also add peas and carrots. But today I'm just using what I have in the fridge just to clean things up because it is the end of the week. Okay, I have all of my eggs in there. We're gonna add a little bit of the chili garlic. Save that for later, garlic powder. A little bit of chicken bouillon and white pepper and then we want to leave that out because we might sprinkle it on the rice later and then you want to mix fun fact I'm so used to mixing with chopsticks that I literally cannot mix with a whisk it feels so weird to me okay we have our pan ready on the heat at high oil. I don't have meat, but I have a little bit of bacon crumbles, and I feel like I feel like this would taste. I feel like this would taste pretty good with the rice. A little bit of black pepper. Season with soy sauce, sriracha, do medium high. So what's up? We're here. We are here unloading all of the wood for the conference table and the dining table that we're doing. The round dining table. We got my dad right here getting everything out. Super bright. Bunch of freaking wood. Ha pasado algo. Okay, ah, espera, espera, voy a grabar esto. 
Dale para acá. Ahí. Aquí adentro. So here is the first half, I mean second half of the round table. We got the other part over here and the second. Hello guys, let me show you what we are doing today. These are the four pieces for the conference table that we're doing. I think it's five feet by 12 feet. Yeah, five feet by 12. So you can see it's four pieces that we're gonna, it's gonna be basically two big tables that are gonna come together, that's that. Now this is the round table that we're doing for Kim. Um, and yeah, we just got it back from getting uh, planed. Now we're just gonna start sanding and doing our final touches. As you can see, it's two parts because it's easier to clamp. So we're gonna get that going. Over here we have, um, pieces for this master that we're doing made out of white oak we got our edge band station right here now right here we have all of the material for the drawers that we're doing we built everything in-house so um, yeah these are the drawers we got back panels Eric's taking care of all of the edge banding we got the solid uh, flooring shelves here for the office build that we're doing too this is gonna turn out really nice. We're gonna assemble it and then cut around, obviously cut the circle and then go on from there. Good morning guys, it is Monday morning. Yeah. So let me show you what we are getting done today. This is the round 70 inch table for Kim. Um, we already glued it up together, but now we need to add the center support to prevent it from coping or trying to bend. So this thing, as you can see, it's like a T-shape. When I cut a channel, it's gonna go flush from the bottom, so you'll never be be able to see it. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. But um, these are the tops for the comfort table that we're doing. Uh, that's going out next week. I think, yeah, next week. Now this is the metal that we're using for the leg of the round table, which is a cool design you guys are gonna see. And these are the frame for the two doors that we're doing. The bifold open, I don't know what you call it. But that's what we're gonna be working on today. You guys are gonna see how we're gonna be welding that on. We got uh, Chris helping us out with the welding today. I'm gonna knock that out. Then Eric on the camera is gonna be working on this. And I'm gonna be working on the two, three, four classes that we're doing, which is all right here. But yeah, for the most part, that's it. This is about to come off, 
Ya. Okay. Haga esta cuando yo le diga, cuando yo le diga. Bueno. 